I'm here today on October 21st in uh, historic Jamestown, Virginia. I'm going to spend a couple of hours at this place and I just wanted to show you what's here to see. Uh, this is the original settlement, uh, the first British colony on American soil dating back to 1607. So the only 17th century monument is actually the church tower left of the original church. Then there is a fort, James Fort, dating back to 1607. There is a little cafe out there apparently, just to get uh, warmed up and have some snacks. Then there is the Archaearium Museum, because there's active archaeology going on here. Uh, all sorts of um, different types of properties that are being excavated and investigated. Further up on the property is the Glass House, which are ruins of an original 1608 and 1621 glass making operation, and they're still doing glass making here today. This is a little map. This is the visitor center where I'm in right now. Newtown apparently is the site of the expanded Jamestown town site. And then there's a five mile long drive through scenic Jamestown Island. Here you go, this is actually the location of the drive. Then there are ruins of the Ambler Mansion dating back to the 18th and 19th century, a plantation. And here is the 1907 Tercentennial Monument. Just wanted to give you a little look here what the original settlers would have been doing. They were into glass blowing. Um, says here it was uh, Jamestown was established by the Virginia Company of London, a stock holding company which sought to enrich its shareholders. And when it became clear that gold was a scarce commodity in Virginia, settlers turned to the land's raw materials as a source of wealth. Some were shipped directly to England, others were processed by skills cra uh, st skilled craftsmen. Although tobacco would ultimately emerge as, as Virginia's primary wealth maker, early industrial attempts at Jamestown remain one of, of the site's many leg legacies. As you can see, glass making was part of Jamestown right from the beginning. In 1621, the Virginia Company's instructions recommended the planting of vines in abundance and archaeologists um, uncovered evidence of a brewery dating from 1625 to 1660. From silk to spoons, ubiquitous red clay was transformed into bricks, pottery and roof tiles. Lime produced from the innumerable, innumerable oyster shells was kneaded in the smelting of iron, the manufacture of glass and the prime ingredient for mortar and whitewash. So you can see some of the original industries. Harvesting medicinals. Medicinal men at Jamestown, whether surgeons, physicians, or apothecaries, were at a premium. First duty was to keep settlers alive in the midst of an unfamiliar environment. Dr. Lawrence Bohun, who arrived at Jamestown in 1610, was eager to learn of the healing properties of plants native to Virginia. And in the same year, the Virginia Company of London instructed settlers to send sassafras, bayberry, and walnut oil to England. Wealth from the forests, goodly tall trees, settler George Percy reported enthusiastically of his first sight of Virginia in April 1607, and actually even today, this is a heavily, heavily wooded area right here. Um, that summer, Captain Christopher Newport sailed home with clapboard and other wood products, so you can see all sorts of industries, early industries in Jamestown, glass blowing, medicinals, wood, lime, and uh, and beer. So, I'm in the visitor center right here. It's a $10 entrance fee to get into the historical area. Here is um, a small museum, actually, um, a movie uh, that uh, lasts about, I think, 10 minutes or so that uh, is presented every half hour. And this is, gives you a bit of an idea of uh, the history of Jamestown. Um, on May 13, 1607, 104 English men and boys established Jamestown, the first permanent English settlement in North America. The United States of America evolved from the small fort that they built here on the James River. So this is truly the birthplace of the United States. Jamestown's notice, notable legacies include the introduction of representative government, English culture and heritage, and Protestant religion. 
conflicts between colonists and Virginia Indians and the plight of Africans caught in the development of race-based slavery in England's American colonies are legacies with profound implications. So you can see here, this is quite a nice museum here. And I'm going to take you outside in just one second. Obviously very, very nicely demonstrated everything here at the uh, Jamestown Visitor Center. Giving you an indication of early colonial life here in Jamestown.